Hello and welcome. Welcome in my SCADA world and today we go with Microsoft Excel first video from new series. In this video we will create button for in Visual Basic script. In this button we will create the new worksheet for Microsoft Excel. I have Microsoft Excel 2007 and in this Excel we can create some reports or something. Anyway, in this video we will only create one file with xlsx extension and in this video we go step by step so we we'll understand everything you need about this topic. This script will be available under my video on this YouTube channel. First of all, we need to create some dim variables and these tag names we will use for our scripts. So for, for example, we need the object for the Excel, we need the object for the file to, to get the file extensions, we have also the object for workbook and the file path, we need to know how to name this file. So we have file path on my D folder and this will be test.xlsx. As I said, this script will be available for you under this video so you can create this Excel by you in your WinCC V7 application. Now we need to set the object as wins as Excel object. So now we see that file is create object and now we create the scripting and file extensions. We have the object scripting dot file system object. So we have the object who can manage the file system objects. The next object is the Excel object and this Excel object will be created by this file system object. Before you make this Excel dot application you need to have Excel on your WinCC application because you need to have the library for the Excel application in your system. Uh, if you don't have, you can't use this library in your Visual Basic Script Editor. On the last line, we need to free memory because if we create some objects, we need to also make the memory free to don't extend our system memory and we make this set name equal nothing so we this destruction the objects okay we don't have any error we can run our runtime But before we go with runtime, we need to make something in our Visual Basic script to, to see how our script is running. So let's say we need to create the workbook for our Excel object. For this, we need to have the object Excel.workbooks and we have the possibility.add. So we are adding one workbook for our Excel object. Now, if we have the scripting and file system object, we can see if our file is existing or not. And depend of this, we make the different kind of save. So if our file exists in our system so the value is true we will create we will only save this f 
file in the same name. But in case we don't have this file, we need to create the new we need to create a new file with save as option and save as option as file path because we select the d slash test dot xlsx and we have this option like save as in active workbook for last lines we need also close act workbook and we need to close our excel application to don't leave the running process under the process list so we close the excel application and we close also the file now we can start our WinCC runtime and we can see if our excel file is created or not okay but we don't see the errors or something let's add our smart object to to see if our script is running correctly or not so we select the global script GSC diagnostics this GSC diagnostic will show us if something wrong or not. So, okay, let's change the path because I have a lot of files on D and I couldn't find my Excel application. Okay, now we see the D Excel slash Excel test XLSX. Okay, now if we open the file we have the test.xlsx and after we open we have the one excel thank you for watching in next video about the microsoft excel and wincc v7 we will add more values into our excel file and we will create this we will insert these numbers with Visual Basic Script from WinCC Runtime. If you have any questions regarding this video, just give me the comments or give me the subject you want to see in my videos about WinCC and Excel. See you. Bye.